what's up y'all welcome back to another tough with me video i'm gonna kind of make this one simple and sweet and just try to sprinkle some tips along the way all right y'all so the first tip i have is to put effort into your tracing process a few things I recently started doing differently that I feel just elevate my rugs once they're completed is to make sure my image is level when I throw it up on my projector before I start tracing it. I also make sure I'm not putting any pressure on the frame as I'm tracing it so I don't kind of warp the lines and I make sure that I'm tracing the actual lines not just sloppily tracing over it because at the end of the day you're going to be able to tell. Another good tip I feel like I could give, which was huge for me to realize, is don't overlap your yarn. This may seem like a simple one, but for me it was not. I was focused on putting in as much yarn as close together as I could to make a full, thick rug. What I ended up doing was I would just kept piling yarn into the same spot and it made my rug uneven and just really choppy looking. Moving on to tip number three in this video, I would highly recommend to keep as many of your lines going for as long as possible and in the same direction. If you follow my Instagram or TikTok, you already probably know this one, but another huge game changer for me was to really test out my colors and put a lot of thought into matching colors together when I'm tufting. To give you an example, this blue that I'm using is, I believe, Varsity Blue from Big Twist, and this is the color I thought would look perfect for my Sonic Rug main color, and if you go back and look at that video, it ends up looking a lot darker next to other blues versus this vibrant pink that I put it next to here. Okay, okay, so the next tip here would be to have your yarn feed from the, what side is this? The left? Have your yarn feed from the left. On my big frame that I have, I have it feeding from the right. I still haven't changed it. Yes, I'm still lazy. And it is a lot more difficult than this setup that I have right here. This smaller frame that you see me using, I can fit like a two by two, two and a half by two and a half on here. And I got it in a kit from Tough the World. Um, I can link that down below. I have a code. I don't know what the percentage off is, maybe like 10, 15, but it saves you a little bit of money. And I've had zero problems using this. Moral of this story is to pay attention to how you have your yarn feeding through your gun because it 100% matters and if you have it set up correctly, oh my goodness, it makes your life so much easier. Okay, so the last and probably most important tip in my opinion is to trim the heck out of your rug after you glue it and back it. Personally, I have two different pairs of scissors that I use to cut my rugs, and then I have a set of like electric shavers. I don't know what they're actually called. I can link them down below, but that's what I use, and I go over everything probably two or three times before I am satisfied with it. Now, regardless of whether I'm using my scissors or these trimmers here, I'm making sure to hold the tool at a 45 degree angle in between the colors to get that nice crisp line. Once I'm done doing that, I go over the whole rug with the trimmers and just kind of level everything out and round off the edges. I don't think it matters what you do first, I just prefer to do it that way. Okay, actual last tip, I promise, is to get one of these little like lint scraper things from Amazon. I recently got one and it helps cut down so much of my time to remove the different color fibers after I've trimmed all of my colors. I still vacuum and lint roll afterwards to get the final look, but trust me, it's gonna cut your time in half. 
as always if there's something i touched on that you want me to kind of do a more deep dive into and do a separate video on just drop a comment and i'd be more than happy to do so if you stuck around this long be sure to hit that like button so then youtube recommends this video to other people and i can grow my channel okay thanks bye